We have a question now from Jason who asks, is it important for the shortened URL domains in the text message to match the domain that your campaign is registered under? You know, from a purely best practice point of view, uh, we're a hard yes on this. Um, you know, we, we feel that it's very important that if you're representing a shortened, a shortened domain inside a shortened URL, uh, that, it's, that it's similar, if not very close to the actual domain that it's going to. And if you're having any sort of domain that goes from something that sounds like it's your organization to something else, we feel that's bad. I would like to get maybe uh, Stephanie or, or John or Amanda to weigh in on, on any experience on that. I know that from our point of view, we say that that's a hard no. What about you guys? Did you, did you have any experience on that? Yeah, I would agree that um, we are really pushing our customers for that domain name to match the URL shortener link in the message. Yeah. So that's really the direction we're providing our customers. Yeah, similarly, I would, I would say like, don't use Bitly. Um, you're going to be opening tickets because your messages are, are not going to be coming through. Um, but yeah, use your domain and at least evolve towards that if you don't already have that in place. 